Sewage epidemiology is a relatively uh, novel concept for obtaining some relevant epidemiological information, including lifestyle habits and population health. Uh, nowadays, it is a well-established approach uh, to assess uh, uh, the consumation, consum consumation of illicit drugs in the communities. It is based on the fact that everything we consume and many substances that we are exposed to enter our body where they are metabolized and then excreted. Therefore, urban wastewater can be considered as a very diluted urine sample of the entire community, which is connected to a certain sewer network. And by measuring uh, urinary biomarkers of these substances, we can uh, assess uh, lifestyle habits and population health. Uh, so nowadays it is a well-established approach for the assessment of illicit drugs consumption and uh, more recently it has been also applied to uh, study consumption of some illicit drugs such as alcohol, uh, tobacco, caffeine and pharmaceuticals. Uh, however, uh, wastewater potentially contain much more information for instance, we can study uh, population exposure to pollutants, we can measure uh, some biomarkers of health, for instance, biomarkers which are um, uh, associated with oxidative stress, and potentially we can e even measure some biomarkers related to some uh, diseases. Uh, I'm involved in a European project called the Scheme, which is devoted to uh, the development of the methodology uh, for determination uh, of uh, biomarkers of exposure to some chemical pollutants from uh, personal care products and uh, household uh, chemicals. Uh, we will try to uh, develop a multi-residue analytical method which would be able to measure these biomarkers in wastewater and uh, then we will apply it, we will test it using uh, four European cities as case studies and uh, one of the, uh, some of the advantages of uh, this approach is that we can obtain uh, objective data in almost uh, real time with lower costs usually with no uh, ethics issues and uh, uh, it can be used as an early warning system so we can uh, relatively easily uh, identify population which uh, might be more affected uh, by chemical pollutants.